Bismillah uh, ar-Rahim. As we're getting older, how do we uh, live so that we're learning every day and we're not staying stuck in one thing? Okay, you understand the question? When you are doing something and you're doing something for a long time, the nature of a man that Allah has given us with the faith, with the intelligence, whatever that is doing, he's going to become better at it. You understand? Because we're not robots. Allah has given everyone intelligence. What is it that you do? It doesn't matter. You are planting wheat. You're planting wheat. One year, two years, seven years, 40 years, you're planting wheat. Long time. You grow old planting wheat. Because you're planting the wheat, that is what you are doing with the intelligence, with the faith that you have. You, it's not after 40 years that you decide to get better. When the maturity hits you, you say, I must get better, I must do something a little bit better, a little bit better. So when you start doing something like that, simple things, planting wheat, or you become a doctor, or you become an engineer, or you become a ruler, with the faith and with the intelligence, you're doing that over and over again, you want to get better at it, two things can happen. One, you can lose interest. You can lose interest and you say, ah, this is nothing that time you start dying. You don't become older, you start dying. It can happen when you are 17 years old, 27 and 97 years old. You start dying because you have no interest in the faith that Allah has put to you and in the intelligence. Because with the faith and the intelligence, whatever that you're studying in this world, it must and it will bring you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many more ayats do we need? Allah is saying, do you not see the ships on the, on the seas? Do you not see the skies? Do you not see the light and the, and the day? All these are signs for those with understanding, those who are trying to understand Allah. So in there, there is. Okay, all your kids, go inside the room now. Bring them quickly. You, Jamal, bring them quickly. This is so bad time. They can eat their chocolates over there. So when you do something with that faith and intelligence and you want to improve every day and you're discovering Allah in that, that knowledge now is never ending. Then, more better you are at it, more you realize that you know nothing. Not that you know something. You say, now, after 40 years of doing this, I realize that I'm just knowing very, very little about this vast subject and what more Allah is keeping there for me. You don't have to be a believer to do this. We see always the experts in every field, whatever that they're doing, they're saying, now only after doing this for 40, 50 years, I realize how little I have. Now, com comparing to other people, other people look at them, they say, you know so much. But they become more humble. Because they say, the more I look inside, the more that there is. Allah is showing now the ilm that is there. So how can you get stuck? You get stuck when you lose interest. You get stuck when you stop discovering yourself. You stop discovering this world and you stop discovering Allah. You, you finish. When you start only discovering your ego, only discovering your uh, passions, your desires, only discovering this world, only discovering that time, it kills you. It starts killing you. Because there is a limit. And Shaykh Hadi Shemalana is saying, you love honey, you take one teaspoon of honey, it's so nice. You take two teaspoons, it's not so nice anymore. You take five teaspoons, you want to throw up. Because it's too much. This is the nature of this world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created mankind to start when you are hopeless and helpless in this life. And then you get bigger and bigger and bigger. You start discovering every, your, all your energies are there. 
and then you get weaker and weaker and weaker. You get weaker, weaker than you were when you were a baby. And then you're done. Some people, they get so jealous. They say, why Allah is not creating us like butterflies? They say, why butterfly? They say, because butterfly, they get more and more and more beautiful and then they die. Instead of getting weaker and weaker. It is showing now the nature of this world. Everything has a limit. It starts ending. It starts getting bitter. It ends. It finishes. So don't stop discovering Allah. Don't stop discovering yourself. Be with people who are going to keep on making you to discover. Be with people. It depends on what you want. You want to die, go ahead, die. You want to be bored, go ahead, be bored. But if you want to become alive, you, become, you want to be like how the prophets are, were, how the awliya Allah are. They're always in constant amazement of their Lord every single day. Looking to see what are the secrets, what Allah is showing to me today. What, is, what am I learning? What is He teaching me? What are the knowledges that are there? This amazement, the West, they call it childlike amazement, yeah, must never leave you. But if you surround yourselves with people who kill that, you will die too. If you keep on being like that, it will finish also. But if you are around people who are always thirsty for that kind of a knowledge, then you will never be stuck. Because they are always saying, look at this, look at this, look at this. Shaykh Effendi is saying, old man, planting wheat and vegetables all his life, he's walking on the field, he stops, one hour he's looking at one flower, he says, look at this, this is very different, mashallah, look at this, how this is, wondering and in amazement of the creation that is coming from our perfect creator. You understand? So you don't get stuck like that. Yeah, of course, you must question, you must find answers. But you must be thirsty. Thirsty for the real knowledge. If you're thirsty for this dunya, You'll come to the point, if this dunya is open to you, you can even drink it like it is a sea, but you will, your thirst will never be satisfied. You will never be satisfied. Because all thirst is coming from the heart. And the heart is only satisfied with Allah. No? Inshallah. Wa min Allahu al-Fatiha. Evet.